All right, here is the uh, treble simulation suite, accessed through app.treble.tech. Now I want to get some geometries into treble. I can of course use the, the good old SketchUp plugin and that workflow, uh, but it so happens now that I have some 3D files in another format than the SketchUp format, which I want to get in. So you will see here is a new button called Import Geometry. It says beta because it's been in beta with some select testers for a while now, but uh, will be made available to everyone next week. And uh, let me just go ahead and import or try this. So as you can see here, we support DXF, OPJ and 3DM file formats. Most, if not all, uh, CAD modeling tools are able to, able to export into at least one of these formats. And I'm going to import a DXF file, which I have lying around here on my computer, like so. And uh, first, let me sh well, let me just start the importing. Uh, it takes a few seconds to run because it's shipped to the cloud. There is some processing that takes place on the geometry, uh, both checking that everything's okay and even trying to automatically fix it if there are some small issues with it. And indeed, this is going to happen for this model. Uh, I happen to know that uh, kind of beforehand. Uh, so let me show you here while it's importing. This is the, the, the model. Uh, it's a, from a round robin study. And you will see here, if I zoom in here, it has some small holes or gaps in the model. It's not, so not perfectly sewn up. So it's not technically watertight. But uh, the treble geometry processing uh, algorithm, which sits in the cloud, uh, will analyze the model and actually is able, in this case, to fix the model for us uh, and make it completely watertight. That means that we can use uh, both the geometrical acoustic solver and the wave-based solver. The wave-based solver needs a, geom uh, a watertight model to be able to, to run the model. Uh, yeah. So uh, once this is done, we will get some feedback on the geometry uh, and it will tell us whether we need to improve something or whether there are some errors or something like that. And then uh, we can move forward. It says here, the feedback, the wave-based solver is enabled. So that means that the, water, uh, the model is watertight. So it was fixed by this, this small slit there, as an example, was fixed by the geometry processing. It does give me some warnings, which oftentimes we can just ignore, but let's at least read them. Uh, it says here, potential small gaps between faces or edges detected. Small gaps between two elements can impact the speed of the wave solver. Likewise, short edges detected, consider simplifying your geometry, short edges can impact the speed of the wave solver. So there's nothing wrong with this model, it will run just fine and very accurately, but perhaps there is some room for, for improvement of improving the geometry to kind of make the wave solver a bit more efficient. You know, we can take this into consideration. Uh, generally speaking, we want maybe details down to five centimeters range, something like that in our models. But I'm just going to go ahead and, and ignore this, at least for now, and see how, how it looks. Uh, so I click next here, give it a name. Let's say RR3 testing import project. I'll create a new project, webinar import. And new space, RR3, something like this. OK, uh, here is the model we just imported. I'm just going to quickly open it up. Uh, we see it here. It's been imported successfully. We see, for example, this uh, slit that we had there in the original file has been sewn up or fixed. So the model, model is now watertight, and we can run uh, both the wave solver and the geometrical acoustic solver. I'm very quickly just going to create uh, a simulation here, assign some nonsense material on everything just for the sake of setting up some simulation to show you uh, how the estimate functionality looks and whether we actually need to consider simplifying the model even further. Um, throw in sound source and a receiver and now it is proposing that I simulate uh, up to 450 hertz. Let's maybe see, push it a bit higher up to 700 hertz. Um, and then I'll mesh this, uh, or, or I like when, when I click the estimate button, what happens under the hood is that the model is being meshed, which is sort of a pre-processing step for being able to run the wave simulation. And from this, uh, the software can indicate how fast the simulation will, will be. And if we look at this model, I think it looks quite okay. Uh, so maybe no need for further simplification. There are some geometric details here, which are quite small. See, for example, this edge here. So maybe this detail here could be simplified. This would speed up the simulation a bit. 
but then again, if we're willing to wait maybe just a few more minutes uh, for the simulation, then this is also just fine. Uh, so here it's saying the simulation up to 710 hertz take nine, takes nine minutes to run. I think that's quite acceptable for, for a wave simulation of this size room. It's around 400, uh, 400 or 360 cubic meters. So this is actually just fine. But as mentioned, we could maybe get it down to five minutes or something like that if we really wanted to optimize for speed, but this is quite okay. And then I could just hit the run button and run the, the simulation. Okay, the other, I wanted to show you a, a different example, uh, importing another room. So I'll go back here where, um, so let's go again. This time I'm gonna imp import uh, a little bit bigger room. This is from the uh, benchmark for room acoustic simulations uh, database. So a public database of, of benchmarks for room acoustic simulations as the name implies. Uh, this is a bigger space uh, and I happen to know for a fact that this is even less uh, perfect of a model uh, than the one before. So here, uh, the geometry checking service will attempt, or the geometry processing will attempt to fix the model, uh, and that's what's going on right now while we wait. But I know for a fact that it's not going to be able, in this case, to completely fix the model. So there will be some watertight or sort of slits or gaps uh, which was not able to, to be fixed. But that in turn means that we can still uh, run the simulation, but only using the geometric acoustic solver. So now we have kind of two options. We can either go back uh, to the CAD modeling tool and, and improve the model such that we can uh, run the wave simulation or we can just accept it as is and run a GA only simulation and in many cases that is just that is just fine especially if we're running a project which uh, is sort of let's say time critical. So Treble certainly accepts anything ranging from uh, you know quite imperfect models all the way up to uh, more perfect models. Uh, here we see a couple of warnings, not watertight, um, so it will tell me only geometrical acoustics. That's fine. And CO3, uh, import. Uh, something like this. And now uh, this shows up over here, it has a little purple guy here which uh, tells me uh, not able to run a wave simulation but GA is just fine. And here we see this uh, quite complex model um, successfully imported. And that's, uh, that's it uh, for new geometry import capabilities. If your model has some issues, uh, let's say small short edges or not watertight or slits or something like that, then you can also uh, in very soon we'll, we'll add the capability of, of, uh, of the tool showing you where in the model you have issues and so on. Uh, so that will come probably in, as early as January, uh, this kind of feedback uh, mechanism.